This is a new Aperture 300X bicolor single source LED light. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D and I'm here with Ted from Aperture. Ted, how are you? Doing good, keeping busy. Busy, huh? Absolutely, non-stop. Non-stop. And there is a reason why you're busy. I mean, we just introduced a new product. Yes, we did. Which is the 300X. Yeah. What is it? Uh, again, we just released the 300D Mark II, came out super recently. However, one of the things that we've been getting asked for all the time is we want a single source light that's bicolor. <laughs> Sounds simple, right? We see LED panels all the time, they're bicolor, shouldn't be a problem. Problem though is that with panels, you usually have multiple chips that are daylight and that are tungsten. And you usually have to fade between the two of them to get bicolor. Now you want to get a single source bicolor, that's a different story. That's really hard to do. Especially when this is a COB or COB? Especially when it's a COB. What is a COB? A COB is a chip on board LED where it's really coming out from one source, which means that unlike panels where you get multiple shadows from every single LED diode, you're getting all of your light from one point source. So, what's important about this though is that I've seen a lot of different ways that people have tried to do it, and literally nobody has been able to get a one point source. Usually they have two chips, one daylight, one tungsten, they fade between the two, or they have one chip and they stripe it. It's like a tiger stripe of daylight tungsten, daylight tungsten. And if it's striped, and the what is the problem? problem? It's a huge problem because if you put any kind of Fresnel on it, if you put any kind of spotlight, again, the most common way that you're gonna use the slides is with a Fresnel. You will see the left of it is going to be daylight or tungsten and you will see the stripes will actually appear in your lighting. So technically, how yeah. did you solve the problem? So, uh, super, super difficult, but we're using different technology actually. It's not chip on board technology. It's a different type of LED technology that actually blends the lights. It's a board before. on chip? Yes, no, it's not a board on chip. <laughs> different type of LED technology. I don't want to say it yet, but it is behind, of course, an actual diffusion filter that'll actually go through. So, we're blending it once, we're blending it twice. So, when it actually comes out of the light itself, which will open up here. Whoa. You can see that it actually comes out, I'm blinding myself, as one non-stop source. Uh, and again, that is important because, again, we just released the Aperture Spotlight too. So for all of you guys out there that want an ellipsoidal, that want a Leica, that want a Source 4, uh, this means that you finally have a bicolor stage light. You have a bicolor spotlight, a Leica or something like that, which is something that has not existed before, period, in this time. So. 300X, uh, this should be coming out, we expect, approximately first week of February is the goal, Q1, 2020. I know, it's crazy, it's 2021, what's going on? I think me and Johnny met see, I in 2013 or something. I summarize it by saying, <sighs> crazy. It is crazy. Oh my gosh. Uh, 2020, Q1 is the expected time. You get all the benefits of the 300D Mark II, so we're talking about things like all-in-one controller box, longer cables, all these things. Price is not set yet, uh, but it should be pretty similar. We're Aperture, we're gonna do the best we can here every time. Any other way to control this one? I mean, yeah. app or anything? Oh, absolutely, yeah, we have the Citus Link app that just came out. Uh, the Citus Link app, again, it gets, more and it gets more and more amazing every day that I look at it. You get full control, if it's an RGB light, the light will actually communicate with the app. So the light will tell the app, hey, I'm an RGB light, here are my functions. So you're sure, I can really yes. hear, hey, I'm an LED light. Yes, <laughs> yeah, your app will, yeah, your app actually triggers uh, internal vocal cord box. Not yet, not yet. Of the, the second generation. Yeah, the, the reflector starts to move up and down. It's like a cartoon. It's like, hello, I'm an amateur light. Right. Yeah. And of course, as you said, all, all the available accessories will fit this light. Absolutely. Okay. Bones mount, so your soft boxes, your light dome. Uh, again, but the ones that's really important for, the spotlight, the Fresnel, totally clean color all the way through. It's a very difficult thing to do to get clean color consistency with bike color on a chip source, so, yeah. Ted, thank you very much, as always. It's good Pleasure to see you. To you. Thanks, Johnny, appreciate it. Thanks thank you very much. Hey, that's my beat. Hey! Thank you very much for watching, and please, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you, guys.